showed up and said, I just heard about this new technology where you can dig underground and you can dig a, a tunnel underground. Well, you all know about these things now. Dig underground. I've never done it before. I will, because I've never done it before, I will get the equipment and I will not charge you because I don't know if it will work. A third solution came out of nowhere. A third solution, as the kitchen, as the kitchen was trying to be solved, time passed, and then something shifted. This inspired local plumber approached the design team with a whole new way forward. Perhaps it is time, just like we gather around our loved ones, we gather around and remember all the people that went before us, that sacrificed their lives, that it's time for us to gather around kitchen counters and fellowship tables to pray and open up the book of Exodus, which the men are going to be doing. They're going to be looking at Moses because Moses and the folks, the Israelites, thought there was no way forward. There was just water and their enemies. Water and their enemies. But there was a way forward that they could never have predicted, but they moved forward. So let us be reminded of Moses and the fleeing Israelites who discovered God's ways and wisdom to be so great. If we created a list of all the times God had parted the sea and created a way out of no way in our lives, the list would be great, wouldn't it? But it would never be long enough to contain all of the possibilities when we come together in prayer. Open our eyes that we may see. And I'm not going to sing this one. <laughs> I wish I could. Open my eyes that we may see glimpses of truth that thou hast for, for me. Place in our hands the wonderful keys that shall unclasp and set us free. Silently now we wait for thee. Ready, our God, thy will to see. Open our eyes, illumine me, spirit divine. May that be our prayer. And let people overhear that we are praying for them and for this deep and lasting peace, that it is possible. Thanks be to God. Amen.
As we come to a time of prayers of thanksgiving, what good thing happened to you this week that you would like to lift up? <laughs> We've got two people so far. I go to Benefics on Friday at Ains. I got Rico Meadows. In swimming. In swimming. And she has form. I saw the videos. Awesome. Congratulations, Olivia. Generous God. And I had the joy of being in New York City with my sisters, our daughters, and my mom, who it was her very first time. So it was a wonderful experience. Yeah. Awesome. Generous God. We're just thankful to have Susan's daughter, Melanie, and her family here with us. Melanie and her husband, Pat, and her daughters, Alexa and Ashley. And we're just uh, thankful to have them, and we're having a great weekend. I think we have one more here. Uh, so generous, God. Sorry, Rich. <laughs> Um, I was a child born on May 30th, and those of you old enough to know that used to always be Decoration Day before this right. ceremony. So I grew up thinking all those great parades and flags were for me. So this morning, driving into town, um, we saw the cemetery. So if you're not going out Monday, drive out today after church. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, my other joy is last week, Emma was here with me helping garden. She created a new cookie recipe, so we did some sewing, cooking. That was great. Joey's going to be here next week, and he's an expert driver of the golf cart, so we haul all kinds of things around the farm, so it's a joy to have helpers again at the farm. Generous God. Did you know it wasn't until 1971 that Memorial Day was a federal holiday? A federal holiday. Yeah. Right, I know. Interesting. But that... Generous God, pour out your love. <laughs> some of you know that Katerina was exposed to some carbon monoxide poisoning. So I am so grateful that not only is she here today, but she's here. Yeah. Generous God. We are glad you're here too. With the summer here, uh, all, of course, all the college kids are going home, and, and we were very happy to hear that our granddaughter and her roommate made it back to North Carolina where they have jobs for the summer. Uh, it's going to be a little lonely on some mm. weekends, but they'll be back this fall. Oh, generous God. Isn't that great that they go to college in Iowa where you get to see them? Any other? Last, any other? Uh, oh, yes. Last Sunday. Janice and I joined our entire family almost down in uh, Des Moines for the run for the cure for the brain cancer uh, run. And uh, we had about 20, 20 some people there in Team Mark. Uh, Janelle uh, and her family uh, all placed. Uh, Janelle won, of course, her, her age group. And uh, Austin finished second overall, and Hillary won hers. Her, uh, Cassidy won her age group, so we were very pleased to be there and support uh, a family event. And speaking of Hillary, she and Randy or Shaw are here from uh, Colorado, and if you want a nice way to start your Sunday in church, your granddaughter comes shooting across the church to give you a big hug. Yes, yay. <laughs> Generous God, pour out your love. <laughs> Yeah, sweet. <laughs> Any other good things that happened this week? 
that you'd like to mention. There's plenty of other good things that happened this week, but all right. Prayers of concern, prayers that we would like to reach out, prayers for others. This being Memorial Day, um, I was involved with the military for over 15 years, and I know, and I know some of you were in the military, so you know what you went through. And I just have uh, prayers for all of our service people and their families, how much they sacrificed, mm -hmm. and all those who have given us the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Generous God. My wife always looks at me with concern when I stand up. It's because of those words, Tom. Yeah, <laughs> she knows me so well. Uh, I, I want to uh, ask for prayers for Ruth Chafebaugh. She just underwent knee surgery, and I can't imagine going through that. It just sounds like it hurts a lot. Mm. So let's pray for our sister Ruth this week. Yes, and the days ahead for her recovery. Generous God. Any others? Let us be in a time of silence as we ponder all the cares that we have. Lord, meet us in the silence. Spirit of life, breathe new life into us. We are weary from the events of the world. We are drawing inside and becoming numb because of all the betrayal and devastation we experience around us. We do not even name it aloud. Breathe new life into us so that our own spirits may rise again. Breathe new life into us so that we may be renewed and restored. Breathe new life into us so that we may once again hear your call to go as healers into a broken world. Breathe new life into us so that we may encourage one another in the name of Christ, who taught us how to breathe in this world, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Diana Butler Bass says, The deep spiritual structure of reality is that we live in a universe of gifts. None of us is a benefactor. We are all beneficiaries. We do not give gifts of our own possession. We only pass on what was never really ours to begin with as a response to the abundance of grace that sustains all of life. Let us share these gifts.
And please join with me in our prayer of dedication. For all the gifts we have been given, we give thanks. The gift of your love, the gift of Jesus, the gift of life everlasting. We acknowledge our mission to serve, and so we bring what we can that others may know your love too. We pray with all our relations. Amen. Our hymn is found in page 2171 in the Black Hymnal. For the music, the words will be up on the screen. Jesus said, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all of Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. So let us go then to be Christ's witnesses in our city and beyond its borders, and into those places that are different from us, and to all the ends of earth. And let us do that in the awareness and power that we are all connected with all of creation through the love of the one who created it all. And we all say, Amen. <laughs> 